Hello and welcome to another Bosco's Toy Box and I'm back with more toy collectibles. This time, uh, this is going to be my, or actually it was, my third trip to the flea market out here in Las Vegas. And I got some really awesome stuff to show you. Um, I think I ended up spending maybe 50 or $60, maybe. Uh, I, I don't have the exact dollar amount because I usually don't pay attention to what I spend. I just take a set amount of money and then I just go with it. Uh, what I'm going to show you first is um, all the stuff that I have for certain people or what I have for trade. And first I want to show you what I bought for Carlos. <clears throat> and I got you two more wrestlers, Carlos. Now I'm not sure who they are. I just... I, I just uh, Got him in this uh, toy lot because I just started this uh, same toy lady that I go to. I just put a bunch of toys in a basket and then she just uh, gives me a price. So I threw in this wrestler here. So maybe you know who he is. Okay, and I'll just show you like the little um, uh, markings on his pants here. And he does have some. Um, Articulation in the waist, the arms, the head. So, very cool. And I'll just show you the back in case you're curious about that. Because there is the... You can maybe make out the date. Okay, so there you go. So, Carlos, that goes to you. Then the other guy I got is... Uh, and let me point the camera up so you can see who he is. And let's see if I can do... Uh, back it out just a little bit. There you go. Okay, so this is another. Um, he's marked on the bottom. Uh, 2004. And it does say uh, WWE. So, uh, not. Uh, he's probably like a wrestling promoter or character. Uh, and I just uh, I wanted to get some variety if I'm getting stuff for you. Not just like wrestlers, but stuff that's. Associated with the uh, WWE or WWF. So that goes to you, Carlos. Okay, now the next thing um, I have... I should have two things up for trade. The first thing is I got this in a little uh, lot. There's this uh, really awesome guy that just has just tables and tables of a wide variety of stuff. And so I just started putting stuff in a basket and... He actually gives really good prices if you buy like a handful of stuff, but this is a Mr. Potato Head Mixable Mashable Hero uh, Marvel series. And as you can see, it's a, Mr. Uh, it's a mini Mr. Potato Head inside of the Hulk costume. And then it also comes with a Wolverine costume. Now it says a $5 price tag. I think I might have gotten it for like two or three dollars because I bought a bunch of toys with uh, with this so it worked out to be about two or three dollars so if anybody wants this in their trade box let me know and because uh, uh, I, I just picked it up you know because there's always awesome stuff that I try to find for my collectors talk friends and I, I just thought you know one of you uh, out there in the collectors talk circle just might be interested in it now the next item I I forgot who's our G.I. Joe collectors. And um, this next thing is not G1. It's not a vintage G.I. Joe. It's actually from 2002. Uh, probably from one of the G.I. Joe movies. But I got this, um, and I didn't look it up. Uh, but I think it's called, uh, since it's on the tires, I think it's called a Sand Razor. And it's probably missing... a. Uh, like a couple parts like here at the top or maybe even here on the side but it does take batteries and it does make sound effects which I don't know because the, the batteries were um, I haven't opened it up but they're either dead or not in there but there are two switches here where it makes noise or maybe it, it like it even uh, talks or something so button here button there so I just thought that maybe somebody would uh, uh, like this, maybe T Biz, because um, I know you collect like some kind of uh, GI Joe type of stuff. I think I, I, it's really hard to remember. I need to start making a list. I need to start carrying a list with me of who collects what. 
because uh, it's just it's so hard to remember stuff. So if anybody wants this G.I. Joe vehicle, let me know. Collectors talk only, and um, just let me know. Now, that is it as far as stuff that's either for uh, certain people or, that, or stuff that's up for trade. I'm almost positive. Yeah, it is. Okay. So everything else now is stuff that I got for myself, and it's really cool. I mean, I was really happy. Uh, we went out. Uh, I went out with my friend like I always do, Mike. And the last two times, it's been like 105 degrees. It, it's just been, and we've been spending four hours out there. So it's, it, it gets just crazy hot, you know, when you're out in the heat that long, even if you do have Gatorade and water. But this last time that we went, uh, a few, uh, this is Sunday that I'm recording this. So we went out uh, Saturday morning, like at uh, 7.30 in the morning. Very overcast. Uh, we actually got rain later on in the afternoon, so it's actually a little bit of a breeze, too. So it was actually quite enjoyable to stay out there. But uh, we both walked away with really awesome stuff. So let me show you all the stuff that I got. First thing I got is this mask action figure. Uh, his name is Cliff Dagger, and he didn't come with his helmet. It was just this guy. I think I paid a dollar for him. If I'm not mistaken. So very cool. So he's going to go in my little collection. Because I like little figures like this. I would. I mean I know I would love to give this to T-Biz. But uh, T-Biz I will keep an eye out for more mask figures. Like of doubles and everything. So I, I just. I, I want to use this stuff for like some toy photography. I need this kind of size of uh, little figures for that. Um, next. Uh, for. It was about a dollar sixty, a dollar seventy five uh, each. Now, if you um, count, might know who these are. Um, but these are Tonka action figures from 1970, and it's from a line called their Mighty Rescue. Uh, it, it's like a Mighty Rescue van ambulance, and a, uh, the van comes with like a. Two ambulance drivers, a man and a woman, and it comes with a gurney and a patient. But I found these two at this uh, action figure booth, and they gave me a deal for uh, three for five. And I'll show you the third thing that I got, but they gave me a really good deal. So these two action figures are the Tonka ambulance drivers, and they came with their clothing. Um, not bad. I mean, that this is actually really cool. I would love to get that Tonka ambulance uh, truck. So right when they had these on the, uh, he had these on like a little uh, shelf, and I knew exactly who they were. And when he says uh, anything on the shelf, I'll give you uh, three figures for five dollars. So I I had to get both of these. Okay, so that's very cool. And then the third figure that I got was this uh, Jurassic Park. Uh, Malcolm figure, which is Jeff Goldblum, and I'll show you the emblem so you know it's Jura official Jurassic Park. So very cool to get those three for five dollars. That was very cool. Uh, next up, I this was a dollar, and this is the Shadow uh, from the the '90s line. And I have something else from the shadow, not from the flea market, but from a pickup on eBay that I'll show in a future video. Because uh, I actually want to start uh, collecting these shadow figures because they're really cheap. You know, they're um, even in the package you can get the shadow figures very cheap on eBay right now. Uh, but this is the transforming Lamont Cranston figure from 1994, and he is missing some weapons. And there's actually a. Um, costume hooded piece that goes over because what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to push his head down and then drape this costume over so he becomes the shadow and then I forgot how there we go it just pops back up when you want the regular tuxedo figure so that's very cool uh, for a dollar I got this Terminator 2 meltdown uh, Terminator from 1991 He's uh, missing some weapons, and it's um, a pretty good condition action figure, except for the fact that he's supposed to have a yellow painted um, like a shirt on. And 
I'll show you that the paint is really wearing off, but still for a dollar, I could not pass that up. Um, I'm not going to repaint it in case someone was curious, like, are you going to repaint that? And I, I just want to, I want to leave it alone. I, I want to leave it alone as it is. But for a dollar, that is a very cool thing to get. Um, I got another Jurassic Park figure for, uh, I think it was a dollar. And I'll show you the logo. There it is, Jurassic Park. And this one is Robert Muldoon. And he's missing some pieces. And actually, I think the, even, maybe not the Malcolm one, but this one definitely comes like with, they're, they're called hatchlings. And they're like little dinosaurs that come with these action figures. But he does come with his backpack, so that's actually pretty cool. And uh, I think he's supposed to come with... Um, some type of, uh, not projectiles, but just, I don't know, some kind of weapons. I forget what they are, actually, but that's very cool for a dollar. I mean, Jurassic Park stuff, like I mentioned in my last video, it, it can go for, you know, if if you got them in good condition and you got the whole, like, uh, accessories with them, they can go for uh, some good dollars on eBay. Um, the next thing I will show you is this uh, premium from Hardee's. It's Wally Gator and uh, Megilla Gorilla. It's a little uh, airboat car, which is very cool. And it goes with my other one that I have, uh, which, uh, gosh, I forget what the other one is, but it goes in that collection. Okay. Uh, next, I've got a, if I can hold on to it, it's a McDonald's Premium. It's a Luigi car. So Mario Kart, so very cool, I love that. That's gonna go in my collection and also in my collection for my Mario Kart uh, toy photography that I'm gonna get around to one day. And then another McDonald's Premium is this Batman Forever Two-Face car, which is, this is like really cool because as you can see, it's a um, white car, black bottom, but what you can do is you can transform the car you can even have it mix and match colors if you want, or if you want it to be all white, or like if you just want the black front. So that's very cool. So I like that. Uh, I got a California Raisin playing the saxophone. So that's gonna go in my California Raisin collection, PVC. And I think that was 50 cents. I think something like that. Uh, another PV, <clears throat> excuse me. Another PVC is Garfield, and I think he was like fifty cents. Okay. Uh, a very strange action figure that has no markings whatsoever, no date. It doesn't even like you would assume it's a Chapmay or a uh, Lenard or something, but it has no markings whatsoever. But it's an awesome action figure. So it says cyborg, I don't know, warrior, or not a warrior, but just like a marine guy maybe. Just no markings, and you can tell with the screws on the back like that, that it, it is a cheapy action figure. But I like it for the fact that he's got this, like the cyborg thing to him, and he was a dollar, so I just got him, I you know, very cool. I got a uh, a little lot of Imagine X. I got two Batmans, and the one that's in my on the right, somebody kind of uh, took a little black like highlighter to it, or something. But I'm gonna get it cleaned off. For right now, I am keeping both these Batmans because I have like a Batman car, I got a Batman playset, so I kind of want multiple Batmans to put into playsets. I've got a Bane to go with my uh, Gotham City Jail playset, so that's very cool. I got this Imagine X figure, which is very cool. I've got this one that goes to the Goblin's Dungeon. And it comes with this weapon. That's a very cool looking figure. I like that a lot. Uh, I got another Imagine X Caveman. I got a quite collection going with that. I got this Imagine X uh, Knight. And I got this guy with the 
uh, hood piece. And then I've got this, I don't know, Shogun Warrior. So, very cool. Okay. Now, the next thing is, um, episodes ago, I had bought this thing at Savers. It was, uh, well, it was like a Batman, um, that cave playset, something. I can't remember exactly what it's called. But it had all the pieces with it, um, except for one piece, and it was a bat signal. And I thought, I've been looking on eBay. You, you can't find it on eBay. No one has it listed separately or even in like a little piece lot. So I was, we were walking, me and my friend were walking around um, the flea market, and we came across this random toy bin. And sure enough, when I'm like digging through, the bat signal for the play set. That is, that was my, I, I was just stoked when I when I just found that. And I got that for like 50 cents, I think. That, that was just cool. That, that, that right there made my day. Next up, I've got these Fisher-Price Little People DC cars, the Joker and Batman. Those were a dollar each, so I got those. Uh, Count Stankus is going to like this because these are 1974 vintage Playmobil people. That's very cool, but I am keeping these because I collect Playmobil. So I got that one. I got this cool looking guy with shades. Come on, focus camera so you can see what he looks like. There you go. And then this, this one I really like. This is an Indian. I like that guy. And he comes with his little, looks like he might be missing the other arm piece here that he has. But I don't care. That's, I think I got these for maybe somewhere between 50 cents and a dollar each maybe. Because it was in my big toy lot I just started throwing toys into. So that's another 1974. And then this next one I'm going to show you. This is from... It's not vintage, it's from 2002, it's Playmobil, but I love his t-shirt that, he, that he's wearing here, it says pickup. <laughs> I just like that a lot. Okay, now I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to show you the Hot Wheels last, uh, very quickly. For one dollar, I've got Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, PlayStation 2, brand new. This has never been played. It is complete, but for one dollar, I'm not going to pass that up. Put that away. Um, for free, that's right, for free, I got a PlayStation 2 plug adapter, which I already have one for my PlayStation 2, but it never hurts to have a backup, just in case for some reason it doesn't work or whatever. But for free, I, I couldn't pass it up. I got a Nintendo light gun. So, a zapper, actually. And I've got, uh, for like $3, I got the Walking Dead, and that's the farthest as the camera's going to go up. So let me put this at a distance. I got the Walking Dead Daryl Wacky Wobbler from Funko. Like three, three bucks. Very cool. Kind of damaged, but I don't care. It's still in the package, in the box. It, it's uh, not uh, broken or anything. It was... Basically brand new, it was just damaged. Uh, this other thing that I got uh, for toy photography only are these um, miniature citizens, people, different, like there's construction workers here, there's like a nurse, there's like a race car driver maybe. Uh, so I just got random figures for like three bucks. So that made me happy. For five dollars, which is I think is a good deal here, is an official GameCube controller, which I needed. So that was very cool. Um, okay, so let me show you Hot Wheels really quick. Uh, I got like nine minutes left. This is a Matchbox. Um, doesn't have a make, but I love this car here. Uh, this police. Um, barricade car or whatever you want to call it but it's a very cool looking car I like that this other matchbox car I like too which is an armor and weapon repair vehicle very cool 
This next one is a Hot Wheels from 2003. It's called a Slick Back, but Slick is spelled S-L-I-K-T. And I'll actually show you the way that should be shown here. Very elongated. Front of the car here, back of the car, slopes, very cool. Another um, skull, cr uh, yeah, skull crusher. Different, different color, very cool car. This is a Hot Wheels from 1999. It is a Ferrari 355. So I had to pick up the Ferraris because um, is it the Ferrari? Is it the Ferraris that I've mentioned before that Hot Wheels don't make anymore? Can't make anymore. They lost their license. This is a Hot Wheels uh, 57 Roadster, and you kind of got like a tiki. Says primitive bad boy. Small wheels front, large wheels in the back. Very cool. This one is a Hot Wheels from 1976. Love that. Very cool car. This is a Hot Wheels from 2002. It's called a Golden Arrow, but it's a Mr. Freeze car. Very cool. Uh, 1994 Hot Wheels, which is a very cool looking car. I'll show you the front there. Because it's got the skulls. Oh, it's not wanting to focus the greatest. There we go. It's got the skulls on the front, and it's got a bat on the front. And it's got like the blown out, is it called a blown out engine that sticks out like that? So very cool. I've got a Batmobile. It's cool. Now this next one that I really like, it's called a Silver Bullet from 1974 Hot Wheels. Very cool looking car there. Uh, Hot Wheels, it's called a Midnight Odo from 2001. And if you can see, it says Rocco and Venus. It's a clown, like a sadistic, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> sadistic clown. Very cool car. Now this next one, which I got for a dollar, which was so cool, but this is a Matchbox Lesney car from 1976, eight. Is it 1978? But it's a road roller, all metal. Very cool car for a dollar. A Lesney. You cannot pass up those Matchbox Lesneys. This is a Matchbox Bug Exterminator car, which is very cool. And I have an idea for this for a toy photo. Uh, next, we've got a Hot Wheel. Uh, it's called Scream and Holler. And it's got this great, almost like a Godzilla eye or a big lizard eye on the side. Very cool car. I've got a shark vehicle, uh, 1990, or I'm sorry, excuse me, 1986. So that's very cool. I like that. Now this next car is very awesome. This one is called a low carbs Hot Wheel car. I'll show you the top, which Twisted will like this a lot. So you got a zombie hand coming out of the ground and a bat in front of the Excuse me, in front of the moon. Very cool car. This other car is also very cool. It's called a Swoop Coupe from 2002 Hot Wheels. And it's got great graphics on the side. So as you can see, there's a skull. Oh my gosh, come on, car. Or car. Camera. That is awesome. I love that. I mean, you can almost pass it off as like a Mad Max kind of vehicle. But that is just awesome. I love that design on that. This one I really like too. It's a Hot Wheels Blazer 4x4 from 1980. It's very close to the molding. 83 it looks like. But it's got the big race tires. And it's got the opening doors on both sides. Which is just super awesome. I really, Actually, I really love this car a lot. Um, oh, and most of these cars I either got for 25 cents each or 50 cents each. And then maybe a couple of them were like a dollar each. Uh, this is a, uh, wow, it's called a Oshkosh, 
uh, ATV Matchbox 2012. I just thought it was kind of an unusual car. I just threw it into this little toy lot. So kind of like this armored car thing that I liked. And then the final loose car is a um, Hot Wheels uh, 1984. And I just like that a lot. I like that little engine on the back and it says Rocky on the back. So very cool. And then very quickly in the package, uh, which I will be taking out because they're really beat up. This is a uh, for the Terrorific Series Attitude and it's a Frankenstein car. Okay. I've got a uh, train engine car. And these are all from like 19... Like 89, 1999. There's a couple from the year 2000. This is a, I love the ice cream trucks. This is the ice cream truck. Uh, this, I really like the uh, trucks of the campers on the back. And this is from the Attack Pack series. A 79 Ford F-150. And it's got this great Mantis on the side. I really like that. And I love the trucks of the campers. Very cool. And then the last one is from a Tony Hawk series that Hot Wheels did. Uh, I don't think it's, uh, oh, it's actually, uh, they're not, it's not a bread box. It's actually called a Combat Medic Truck. But I really like that. Tony Hawk series. I love that skeletized uh, bird type of, because it says birdhouse, so like a skeletized uh, bird. So that was everything that I got at the flea market. I had an amazing time. I love going with my friend Mike to this flea market because we, we always have a super time. Oh, um, I'm sorry, really quick. I got these glasses for a dollar each. These are San Francisco street car from the 80s cars. Or, I mean, excuse me, street car trolley glasses. I know street car and trolley are two different things, but... Um, this is uh, for a dollar each, and these were from like the mid '80s. I, I'm, I haven't looked them up yet, so I'm not sure like exactly where they were sold uh, by or made by. So yeah, that is it now, because uh, I don't think there's anything else to show. But like I said, I love going to the flea market. It, it's just an it's an amazing experience, and we're actually going to go here probably in about two weeks because we have to wait for payday again. But a lot of awesome toys, as you can see. So down in the uh, comments below, let me know what you thought was really awesome that I found or what you thought was an awesome toy. And uh, also in the, to in the uh, description, uh, there's my toy photography page. And there's all my friends in the collector's talk trading circle. So check all the guys out and all their uh, YouTube channels and everything that they have to show off. Because it's a lot of great guys and a lot of great stuff to show off. So until next time, because I got one minute left, this is Bosco signing off.